Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just a stranger talking to the camera. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have a very bright light in my face. I am shooting this particular opening on an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I am out in the middle of a park. Uh, it is pitch black, and I am surprised I have not been uh, arrested yet. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the night mode with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, show you some of the shots that I was able to come up with, some of the creative ones that I really thought about, not just doing the stars and the moon and things like that, but going and capturing traffic and showing the light blur and all this other jazz and a little bit of color correction. And you can see some of the bomb shots that you can get with just your cell phone, which is absolutely incredible to say. So uh, in this particular video, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of voiceover to tell you some of the things that I particularly liked. Uh, a lot of shots that I shot specifically out of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started and show you what I was able to come up with with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm cutting in on the editing room floor and I wanna specifically address just a few things. So first things first, uh, the dog barking upstairs. Don't pay any attention to him, he's outside, he's fine. It's like a nice fall day in Ohio, no worries. But the second thing is on top of that, the, uh, the quality of the video out of the iPhone when it's pitch dark, it's a little grainy, a little more grainy than I wanted. I tried to do the best that I could to color correct, so me me apologize for that one. Yeah, that one probably had a probably should have had a little more light. Hey, I'm not the best planner. That aside, I want to talk about some of the photos that I saw, uh, kind of specifically going through it. The bike route one actually ended up being one of the more interesting ones because I used not the wide angle because on the iPhone you can't use the ultra wide and use night mode, but that's okay but I used the two different modes, just the regular standard lens and then the one that was kind of the crop in telephoto lens. And as you can see, again, these were all on a tripod and it ended up just coming out looking exquisite. Fast forward a little bit to our two photos at an intersection and it showed the intersection, again, no color corrections at all. This is shots directly out of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I love like the light streaks that you see with the different uh, cars that are coming through the intersection. Absolutely love the way that those look. Kind of going fast forwarding into the tree, you start to see that it can pull the stars in. But as I'm going here, one of my favorite shots was this shot right down by the river. It was very dusk. It was a little bit lighter, not completely pitch dark, but a little more lighter than it normally would accustom to be. And this shot just ended up being amazing. I think it was about 20 seconds in night mode that you saw this particular shot. And now we're gonna get into things about where I really started to flex the creative juices, which is not very much for me because I just don't. You'll start to see the shot of the highway. So in the one with the no edits, you see the light streaks and the, from the long exposure of the cars and then fast forward into the color edits. Now, uh, those color edits are a preset in Adobe Lightroom. So my bad, I was being lazy that particular day, but I really liked the way that this shot looked out. I pulled the blue out of the sky that I was looking for and really hit up the vibrancy of the colors and the lights. Again, looking at the colors of my Jeeps, I chose the particular colors that were visually appealing to me, uh, especially the one that is more of the burnt orange, which I really, really love. The Jeep just kind of stands out there and looks like it's guarding the empty parking lot. Uh, I don't know, that's just a really cool shot for me. And then we're gonna fast forward into some of this shot by this little pavilion by the lake. I love the way that the stars are popping in the sky. And then fast forward to what is my favorite photo that I've taken so far with the iPhone Pro Max is the very last photo you can see that I changed. And this one, I did not use a preset. I slid some colors around, really pulled the blue out of the sky and the stars in the sky. This is an amazing shot. Again, outside of the color correction, this all was shot on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the stars that you see, this was a 28 second long exposure directly out from the iPhone and it came up and looked like that was some light editing. Absolutely love what the iPhone has done in this particular instance. So I had a whole outro that I had planned and recorded outside, but it was so bad uh, and so grainy. I'm just gonna hit you with the record right here on the outro. So. Thanks so much for watching. A lot of content coming in October. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.